Today we are going to be measuring voltage using our digital multimeter. In order to set it up properly, you first have to connect the post to the multimeter. Let's see the end of one of those. Okay, good. Red, of course, being positive, black being negative. If you look at your multimeter, you should be able to find some kind of color code on there to see where the negative goes because the negative will always be in the same post. Notice right here, there's a black circle. So the middle post is where I will be plugging this into. Okay. Now, since we are measuring voltage, I'm going to look for the V on my digital multimeter. And it just so happens to be at this post. So I'm going to take my positive post and put it where I will be measuring voltage. Like so. Okay. In order to turn it on, I'll switch the dial to voltage DC. The reason we are choosing DC is because our circuit will be using direct current from a 6 volt battery. Therefore, voltage DC. Okay, what circuit are we working on today? We are working on circuit A, which consists of three resistors and an LED. I think there's, there's three resistors and an LED, okay. Right here you'll notice that these are connected in parallel. We will be measuring these at the end of the video. Okay, and where's the battery in that picture? The battery is right here. Notice okay. that the long line would be positive and the short line is negative. Okay, where, where, can you t show me where all this is on the real circuit? Certainly. Right here is our battery. You notice our first resistor is right here labeled R1. Our second resistor in the parallel area is resistor 2. Our third resistor is right here, R3. And then our LED, which is currently lit because it is connected in a circuit and is a closed circuit. So our LED is illuminated, and that is right here, and we have that labeled LED. Okay. Now, when we're measuring voltage, are we inserting ourselves into the circuit, or are we measuring around the circuit? We're posting them right around the points on where we want to measure from. So notice when I go to measure the voltage of the battery, I'll place my positive, or my red post, right here on the positive terminal of the battery. I'll then take my negative, my black post, and post it right here on the negative terminal of the battery. Eric, it says 6.21. What was the voltage on the battery? The, ba the voltage for the battery is 6 volts, and we have a voltage of 6.21. And of course, you'll see some variation in the digital multimeter. That is to be expected. Okay. So, as we know, since we are reading 6.21 volts and such, we know that we're reading the correct voltage. Okay, now, What's the voltage in the actual circuit then? The voltage in the, in the actual circuit, I'll measure that right now. In order to do that, I'm going to place my positive post right here at the very beginning of the circuit where the electrical flow is going into. I'm going to take my negative post and post it right here on the other end of the LED where the electrical flow is coming out of towards back into the battery. And we're getting 6.20, 6.21, same as we got with the battery. Exactly. So now we know that our, we have correct voltage going through the circuit. Okay, let's look at these parallel resistors. Okay, so when I go to my first resistor and I post, place my positive post right here on where the electrical, inter, the electrical flow is going inward, I will place my negative right here. And if you look at the digital multimeter, we're getting 44.5 millivolts. 44.5 mill millivolts? Yeah. Okay, and then I'll come over here, and I'm going to measure doing the same process. The second resistor, place my positive terminal, or place my positive post where the electrical flow is going inward, and place the negative where the electrical flow is coming out of. And now we're getting 44.6 millivolts, so almost the same number as we got and since these two are in parallel, that's what we were expecting. Exactly.